we are in beautiful Belgium, where we find Pete. We are in one of Made for Arcade's private game rooms, and as you can see, there was a slight issue with one of the virtual pinball machines. A perfect opportunity for us to take a peek inside one of these machines. So let's go bother Pete for a bit and take a little tour. While Pete is putting the micro switch back onto the arcade button housing, we can take the opportunity to look around a bit inside the virtual pinball machine. When we walked in, the metal lock bars and the glass panel were already removed. The Playfield, or 49-inch 4K Ultra High Definition Monitor, sits on a hinge, and so it can easily be propped up to access the electronics inside. First up is the analog to digital Williams style plunger. This mechanical plunger converts the pulling force into digital signals, so we can accurately control the force on our skill shots. A gyroscopic sensor is also included in the electronics. This sensor can detect lateral movement. When you nudge or push the cabinet, the digital ball will move accordingly so you can influence the gameplay. Next up we can find two mechanical contactors in our pinball cabinet. These contactors mimic the mechanical movement of the flipper paddles. Each time you press the flipper button, you feel the knocker vibrate in the cabinet. Force feedback components are controlled by this universal KL25Z input output board. The KL25Z is readily available, easy to operate, and well supported throughout the virtual pinball community. Digging deeper into the pinball machine, we find eight powerful solenoid valves. These knockers deliver fearful blows to the cabinet when bumpers or pinball mushrooms are hit on the playfield. Because of the tactical placement, you can feel the ball action in the exact place where it happens. Next to the I.O. board, we find the audio amplifier. It controls a powerful subwoofer system and two front stereo speakers with programmable lead light -like rings. You'll hear, but also feel, the rumble in your body as you play. Underneath the speakers we find a programmable LED matrix board. The LED lights are game controlled, and their patterns and colors vary per pinball game and per playfield. The DMD panel, or dot matrix display, is a 16-inch LED screen that provides you with all the game information. It displays your scores, plays mini-games, and can display the in-game videos. Going back inside, we find the rumble or vibrator motor. It sits left in the cabinet in its own protective housing. When you score a bonus in a pinball game, the motor can vibrate like your phone does, or it can shake like a faulty washing machine. In order to control its power, we can adjust the strength using the potentiometer inside the coin door. Moving on to the upper deck, we find the ultra-high definition 49-inch playfield again. Its images are crystal clear, smooth, and can switch ultra-fast for high-impact action gameplay. 
The main playfield settings can be adjusted in the software, or can be controlled using the menu buttons inside the pinball cabinet. Oh dear. I guess it is time. While there is so much more to show you here, I do see Pete coming back to close up the machine again. I promise you I will show you all the other components and some hidden secrets in another video, so please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Until we meet again, I wish you all the best.